Good afternoon. My name is Brock Bierman. I'm the president and CEO of Ukraine Focus. And uh, I am here today to talk a little bit about the charity. But before uh, I speak, I'd just like to take this opportunity to specifically thank Chairman Lee and the Heavenly Culture World Peace Restoration of Light and also congratulate them on the seventh anniversary of the Declaration of Peace and the Cessation of War. This is an incredible milestone. Congratulations again. Again, my name is Brock Bierman. I'm the President and CEO of Ukraine Focus. Just want to tell you a little bit about Ukraine Focus and the work that we do. Our first major program is uh, delivering ambulances to the front lines, to hospitals in needs, to communities in needs, and we work, uh, again, at the local level and the mid-level, if you will, the regional level, and the national level to provide that assistance. Uh, we have a program, it's a great program, called Playgrounds for Peace, where we work with communities to build playgrounds, uh, not just for children to play, but also to bring communities together, uh, to bring both the uh, internally dis displaced people together with the local community that's been in those locations, together so that they can talk about how they can come together as a community. And it's been a really great success, and uh, we're really proud of the... Uh, the program and we're looking forward to building Playgrounds for Peace all over Ukraine. So our organization, obviously Ukraine Focus, is focused, laser focused, on the programs that we're working on. We only have four major programs. Again, we do some programs outside of those, but we really want to be focused on specific areas that we are uh, experts in. Uh, you know, there's the old expression about being a mile long and an inch deep. Well, we want to be a mile deep and an inch long. We want to be specifically experts in areas where people can count on us. I think it's incredibly important to develop partnerships. That will also help Ukraine. If we, as a single organization, try to do it all by ourselves, we will not be successful. I think right now, it's incredibly important to have all of the nonprofits work together collaboratively to try to help one another. You know, it's one plus one equals three. You know, if it's just one person doing one thing, it's, it's not going to make as big a difference as if organizations come together. And so there's going to be a multiplier when all organizations actually collaborate, and I, I think that's incredibly important. In terms of the passion that I've seen in Ukraine, um, frankly speaking, I haven't seen anything like that in my lifetime. You know, I, my first trip to Ukraine was um, just after the war started in early April, and uh, I took a, a very... Um, below the radar trip, um, 2,000 miles driving throughout western Ukraine. And uh, I, I started to see the resolve of Ukrainians for their independence, their democracy, their liberty. Uh, Ukraine has done more than just deserve our support. They've earned it. And it's important for us to understand that it's more than just Ukraine. Within the Declaration of the DPCW is an uh, article specifically that um, talks about the right to protect state sovereignty. And I think uh, one of the most brilliant moves that President Zelensky uh, made was on the first day of the war when he established the territorial defense, which is bringing men and women together who volunteer uh, to help um, fight and push back against uh, the Russian aggression. And these are just men, average men and women, who uh, have never seen uh, any type of military service. In most probably cases, they've never held a gun. And I've heard so many cases where um, you had hundreds of thousands of volunteers come out to the streets all over Ukraine and take up weapons against uh, Russia to protect their communities. And these, these, these uh, territorial defense you know, regiments or brigades uh, are at the local level. They're from the local community, and they're there to protect the local community. I think that's the relationship between uh, sovereignty, uh, the article that was written in, uh, in the DPCW, but specifically the, the right to protect your own home, your own castle, your own community. And so the, as I think about um, the territorial defense, I think you know, that is um, you know, a brilliant move from the, from the president. And I also think um, it involves every man and woman uh, throughout uh, Ukraine, and I've seen incredible volunteers come forth and not just protect their community, but they're also being called to the front lines and giving their lives.